Do you ever get scared? No. I had to really use my hands at the time because I didn't know how to talk then and I had to do it like that for both to show what I meant for when I wanted to go on the boat because when I couldn't talk. I couldn't sleep all night and I kept the same and went back to mum and dad because I couldn't sleep all night keep them thinking of being out the boat the whole time. My grandparents had a holiday house down south. Uh, they had boats down there. I enjoyed going out there every single morning and going out with my family. All of my mum's side, they all had boats. So my uncle had his own boat and we used to take, he used to come over to Rado for the, when we were over there for a holiday, he used to bring his boat over for the weekend or for like a few nights and stay. My papa passed his love of boats on to me. When I went out with dad once, oh. we had dolphins following us. Just there? Yeah. At other times on our boat, we sometimes see flying fish. Uh, the first motor we had at Yonder was a Mercury five horse without two strokes, um, which was really far, fun with Dad and I in that. When we go fast, it feels like it's nice and flat, depends on the waves, and sometimes it can feel bumpy. I started a new sport called parading racing in Birdswood. It's a club, we just love people there. I managed to find out how to get in contact with them and things like that. Um, but because I always wanted to find out how to join in any part of it, like when I watched them at the finish line at the Bears at the F on the sand. Yeah, just going through the rapids, even though it can be a bit dangerous, but going through the rapids, just seeing an area that you haven't been to before as well as concentrating on the water. Yeah, mum doesn't mind it. She said that she was happy that I was doing a sport I enjoy and that, that's like going life and things like that. Jay? Yeah. True. I feel that was the truth. When I got out on that boat and when I crashed, mum was terrified. Since I was like little and things like that, I always wanted to have a dream job by waking up at the time. I went for a bike um, hired job for a rubbish interview in Fremantle in Bisha and I didn't really answer the questions properly but they enjoyed the way that I was talking to them and things like that because I was showing them how keen I would like the job and things like that and then at the end, at, after when I finished my interview everyone was crying because I liked what I was like, um, like seeing how emotional I wanted, the, wanted that job. I'm the luckiest person in the world to have this job. Since I've started with them and make it with and the start that wait there previously it's been fun, enjoyable. Um, I written about my I told them about what I have in my autism and things like that. Um, we mum wrote out a letter and sent it to my big boss to put out there for the staff members to read so then you understand what my when I make my noises and things like that, so they understand what to do with me if they make them tell me how to stop doing it and things like that. Yeah, my grandfather was a volunteer over at the sun for the tree planting over there. He worked every second Thursday. I um, usually was working on a different day than when he goes over and I asked my supervisor and my boss if I could change it to a Thursday so that I could go over on the ferry with him on the same day as him. My granddad just passed away recently. I really miss my granddad because he meant a lot to me in my childhood. Hello, my name is Jake and I love boats. <laughs>